Welcome back YouTube, Titan Fragrances here, coming back at you with a part two to my Battle of the Blues. It's going to be pinning up two great blue fragrances, Dior Sauvage, EDP, and Aqua Atlantique uh, by Bulgari. Uh, if you hadn't tuned into the first one, it battled up uh, Coach for Men, and it actually had, here's my little high school thing, right? So we got Coach for Men, Ben on YEDP. We're going to go with Dior Sauvage and Bulgari Aqua. Uh, I'll leave a link down below for that one for those of y'all who hadn't caught that one if you'd like to catch it. Uh, the concept is have a little tournament style bracket, have a little competition so that we can find a, an overall winner at the end. Uh, this is just a little concept series I had. I just thought I'd, I'd hand out a couple bottles to different couples, have the wives, actually all my coworkers, have their wives actually tell tell me which ones they like. And I did it to five groups, five people. That way I'd get an unbalanced. There couldn't be a tie. Um, so if you like that, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I got, like I said, I'll put it in the description down below for the link to the other one. For those of y'all finding my channel for the first time, I like to try to do a, a few different things, you know, just give you my takes on independent houses, niche houses, designer houses, things like that, so that I can hopefully review the different, um, uh, fragrances out there that you might be looking at or might be interested in, or maybe even steer you in a way that that you may not have thought of before just take you through my journey the little pitfalls that I've had maybe maybe a little bit will help you guys for those of y'all coming back again I do appreciate your time and all those who haven't had a chance to if you would support the channel you can subscribe down below hit the bell so you get notifications it really helps me out I do appreciate all the support uh, so without further ado let me get on with it again these are what we're fighting it's going to be Dior Sauvage, everyone knows that one, and Bulgari Aqua Atlantique. Let me start off with this one. Give you the note breakdown, kind of how it goes. Sprays real nice. Now, you can imagine it's, it is a blue color. That's why they call them blue fragrances for probably another reason. But um, it's, it's definitely on the aqua line, so you're going to have some aquatics to it. It's going to have water notes, bergamot, celia, lemon on the top with some sage in there. This is going to come off uh, definitely a slight... Um, watery, aquatic, of course. Uh, it's going to be bright. It's going to be a, a slight, maybe just a hint with that sage, a little herbal undertone in there, but not too much. Really stays aquatic. But very, very pleasant, as all these are going to be. Now, some may take that as a bad thing. You're looking for something challenging, for something totally different. This ain't it. This, These are the ones that are just mass appealing, very pleasing, very easy to grab and wear, especially down here in the south where it's summertime. It's going to be hot. Something like this would be really easy to get to and, and be able to sport on almost on any occasion out here. Uh, it's going to, the mid's going to come in with this. It's going to have ambergris. It's going to have C notes. It's going to have apple. So that, that again, still leaning towards a bit of sweetness. You're going to get that aquatic feel for sure. Um, this thing is not an overall projection beast. It's, it's, uh, it's going to project out there a couple feet, standard kind of projection. It's not overly loud. So very pleasant. Longevity on this thing is probably just over five hours for me. It seems like, you know, I'm getting around five, five and a half hours. Um, the base itself, you're going to come down to some amberwood, some benzoin, some patchouli, some vetiver. Uh, and, some patch and it's just really going to come down to that kind of woodsy type of warm earthiness you know it's it's but it's quite pleasant again very mass appealing uh so i would recommend you can spray a little heavy i mean it's gonna it, it ain't gonna offend anybody it's gonna be a very very nice pleasant scent i mean it's it's gonna really be a good all-around beater fragrance if you if you really have just wanting to stick to something easy to go easy to get but like i said we'll see how what the ladies thought about it now, with Sauvage, we all know EDT. I picked the EDP because the EDT is a little bit loud, you know, and uh, I thought this was a little more mature. Of course, it's going to be bright right off the top. Some bergamot. You're going to have some lavender, some Szechuan pepper. You're going to have some star anise, some nutmeg, you know, them spices, and that bergamot is bright. Uh, the peppers are toned down, in my opinion, on this one versus the EDT. The EDT is definitely... That would be something if you're going to go out in a, in a, you know, like a clubbing type of scent, maybe, or maybe something where it's going to be a lot of people and you really want to stand out, pierce through the crowd. Love it. 
It has a broxen in the base with some vanilla, so it's going to be very warm and musky as it really gets in the dry down. But for the for the life of the the fragrance, it's going to that peppers really the and the broxen you know in the base really settled in really well. I do like the EDP for the simple fact it is a little more mature. It's a little more subtle, not quite as loud. It's still going to be, I think, above average in, in every category as far as projection and longevity and so forth because I'm, I'm getting six plus hours. Um, so it, it's not the beast of the EDT. The EDT being just louder, it really comes off. It really bounces off. But the siage of this is really nice. I mean, I, I think all around this is... Uh, and I think the, the ladies all agree and you see it across. I don't have the, the Parfum one. Uh, I don't see their need for it with the EDT, the EDP. Uh, as far as what I've smelled in store, um, it's just too similar, and and it's not my fancy for the most part. I, I'm good with the EDT in this one, but uh, the perfume I'm probably a little bit. Uh, I guess I'll end, end up getting it as part of a collect as the collector in me, but I really do like this one. Probably better than this one. The aquaticness of this is just. I, I like aquatics at times and it does have its place, but I do like the Sauvage one. Now the women really took this one. It was four to one with the Sauvage over the Aqua Atlantique. Uh, not that it was bad, never got any bad reviews. It's just that this one all around was just a much better scent profile. Uh, seems to be very appealing. That can be its own, own downfall for those of you that want something that's really challenging and, and, and different. This is not it. You're going to, uh, people are probably tired of the blue. I don't see why it gets such a bad hate on the blue fragrances. Um, they do what they're, what most people want them to do and do it quite well. But if you're further along in your journey and you're really smelling a lot of different fragrances and want something different and unique, you know, of all these that I'm going to review in the, in the whole, the whole game, you may only need one and you're covered for all of them because they're all going to share similar notes, but all in all, this one reigns supreme. I do think it is a better one than the EDT, unless you really want to be loud. If you want something that really projects, I'd go with EDT. But EDP, I think, is is, is a better balance. It's it's uh, subtle, but yet can be dressed up, and it, and it'll definitely garner garner some much attention from the ladies. I think that it, it seems like the women really love this scent. Uh, I know that not everyone is want is is into that and that's not their big thing they wear it for themselves and that's quite all right i'm just giving you for those that are concerned with what how they're going to be perceived this is definitely going to be a very mass appealing very great fragrance for you for for that note okay so i hope that was thorough enough uh, like i said i want to do a, a multiple series i've been on a little hiatus and i'm sorry i just had a lot of stuff at home and and work and stuff trying to get things coordinated and i didn't want to feel uh, like I was doing an injustice to you guys out there, uh, putting out some content that wasn't, was just me throwing it out there. So I do enjoy all this. I do enjoy the comments. So leave down the comments down below if there's any particular fragrances that you really want to see, like, uh, uh, come up or houses that you really want me to try out that I may not have tried that you may suggest. Cause I'm always looking for different things, but as always, I want y'all to be safe out there, <laughs> wash your hands. And I'll be looking forward to spending some more time with you guys and being way more consistent. So y'all have a great one from Triton Fragrances down here south in Texas. Y'all have a great one.